So you mentioned, uh, you know, one of your records earlier. I hate to have to bring this up, but you also have another mm-hmm. record from the 2011 Valero Texas Open, the ninth hole. You got to walk. Yeah, I had, I had a couple over on that hole, right? You got to, you got to walk us through what happened on that. <laughs> yeah. So people ask me all the time, and I, I, I you know, I, I, I don't mind it, and. Um, I saw on the team. I mean, I was playing great. I mean, I, I was—I think I was under par at the time. It was a very difficult golf course, and I blocked the tee shot to the right and get there, find a ball, no shot. By the way, in the in in the trees there, the 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 ground is all gravels and there's stones, there's limestones in there, so it's hard to get a sole on the on the on the ball. And then so we go back to the tee, hit in the same spot. My caddy goes, "Let's go back to the tee." I, go, I ain't going back to the tee. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I got to go back to the tee. I'm going to hit this. So and then. I hit it, and the ball, the club bounces off the rock. The ball hits the tree, and it hits me in the inside of like two inches higher. It hits me in the nuts, and I'm on, I'm down on the ground. I would have been WD from the tournament. That might have been better. You should have gone back <laughs> to the team, my man. Right I'm out. <laughs> yeah. And I, I looked at him. I said, "Dude, I think the ball just hit me. I, had some, I felt something brush my inside my leg." And he looks. He goes, "The ball's behind you. How did it hit? How did it hit? I'm telling you, it hit my leg." And they replay the video, and you can see my pants kind of just kind of move a little bit in the inside of my leg, and it's really close. <laughs> two inches, like I said, two inches higher. I might, I don't know what, what happened to me, <laughs> but uh, and um, and then after that, I don't remember actually. I, I blacked out. I'm just trying to get the ball out of there. The, the only thing I remember next um, was me finally getting the ball out in, in play, and the rest of the shots I had to see it on replay to see what happened. Because I couldn't count how many how many strokes I hit, and th- they got every one of them. So I when we went back and counted it, and um, I made a 16. I remember walking down, I think 11 fairway. We were trying to count how many what I made. I said, "Here's somewhere from between a 14 and a 16, but it's closer to a 16." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still you shot an 80 with a 16. I mean, I if I go out there, I'll be like, "Yeah, man, I putted lights so, out. I shot 80. <laughs> I played great." So. Yeah. Yeah. On the last, so at the, the, during play, they came and said we counted up in fifteen. I said okay. So on the last hole, I had like a eight footer for a birdie to shoot. I at the time seventy to break eighty. I was like this is for seventy nine. I got to make this. I grinded and I made it. I was like all right seventy nine. But I'm like you know what? I'm gonna go in there and double check what I. And they didn't count one of my one of the shots. I, I missed the ball left handed once. They didn't count that. I was like actually that's a whiff there. So it's actually a sixteen. Damn it! I shot eighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an incredible comment. You know, that I missed hole it. Now, it's thirty yards wider on the right side. They pushed the the rocks and the and the, the tree. They widened that side thirty yards, so it's not the same hole anymore. It's the so not. people go up there, man. That's far right. Because no, 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 no. That those were thirty yards closer to the fairway when I hit it in there. <laughs> that's the nah effect. They ch- you changed the whole golf course. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 